welcome. This video is going to show you how to create a meeting and how to edit some of the preferences so that you are the only presenter that is allowed to make any changes to the roster of who is attending. So if you're in your calendar in Microsoft Teams, go over to the top right corner where it says plus new meeting. Click on that. And let's just add in a title and let's just say this is my sample meeting. If I want to add my entire class, I'm not going to add in each individual student here where it says add required attendees. I'm actually going to scroll down here to where it says add channel. I'm going to click there and I actually get a drop down of who all of my students are or all of my classes and I can choose whichever one of my classes I want so I'm going to let's just say I'm going to choose my Algebra 1 virtual ingenuity class so I click on them and I click on general that way it adds all of the students that are in that class I do still have to add in some extra attendees those attendees would actually be optional they're not necessarily required to be there. So I do have to include Mr. Garcia. So if I start typing in his name, and then depending on who your administrators are, if you're in ninth grade, you would be adding in Ms. Sotherby, and you would also be adding in Mr. Knight. And Mr. Sanovic, Mr. Garcia actually sent out an email as to who you need to include in this portion of your email. So if I include all of those people and then I select what time I want my meeting, I don't want it at 1.30 in the morning. So let's say I'm setting my meeting for 10 o'clock in the morning to 10.30 and I want this meeting to repeat. So if I click on my little scroll, on my little drop down menu where it says do not repeat, I can select for it to be Monday through Friday I can select it to be every day, so Sunday through Saturday, once a week, once a month, once a year, or you can even customize it. For my purposes, let's go with every weekday. And so now all of these settings are going to apply Monday through Friday. I don't need to add a location here. And so now this will just be added right as is, and I can go ahead and click on Send. Now, if I scroll up to my time for that particular meeting, it's still saving right now. Once I am there, though, I'm going to click on a different meeting instead. And so I click on this meeting. Now that I've already set my meeting, I can go back in there without having to join the meeting and start the meeting right now and click on meeting options. But before I do that, because I do have a repeating meeting for this one. I don't want to just select this particular meeting. I do want to go with view series and select that. Now any changes that I make to this happen to all of the meetings from now through whenever it ends. And so I go back to meeting options and it gives me a brand new tab what I need to make sure that I change is in this portion here. Who can bypass the lobby? People in your organization, that's fine. The one that you really need to make sure that you have edited is the who can present. We've had issues where students have muted teachers or they have booted teachers out. Make sure that you change it from everyone, which is the default setting change it to only me and now in this particular class I am the only person that will be able to when we're meeting mute students or mute other attendees I will be the only person that can allow students to be removed from the meeting as well so I hope this was helpful to you